When you lose your loved ones because of the police chasing people and, and stuff like this, this got to stop. It's that sentiment which led Rosa Bassett to file an $18 million lawsuit against the Prince George County police officers who engaged in a pursuit that ended in a fatal crash. The victim, an innocent, uninvolved driver on the road, Andre Bassett Jr. It was unnecessary. It was. To me, it was. I lost my son behind this, you know, and my son was a very, very nice gentleman. You know, he left a 17-year-old daughter here. They was very bonded. My son is gone. According to police reports, on July 28th, a Prince George officer attempted to pull over to Quan Taylor's pickup truck for driving 22 miles over the speed limit, which is reckless driving. However, records show that Taylor did not stop, so officers pursued him along Oaklawn Boulevard and into Hopewell. Reports show that speeds reached up to 100 miles per hour. Two and a half miles later, reports show that Taylor ran a red light and collided with Bassett's car, killing him. While Taylor has been charged with second-degree murder, Rosa Bassett is taking civil action against the officers. Police department policy only allows pursuits when the suspect has attempted or committed a felony crime and when a supervisor determines that an extreme or unusual situation puts life in imminent jeopardy. For minor traffic infractions, that balancing act of risk to the public versus how important is it, is it to catch that bad guy, it usually weighs in favor of the public. So Bassett's complaint alleges that the officers failed to comply with the required training, practices, policies, regulations, and laws, and created an exceptionally dangerous environment for the public. It's a claim that may be hard to prove legally, according to policing expert Will Pelfrey. In this case, there may be questions about whether their actions aligned with organizational policy, but those are not so far afield that it would represent gross negligence. The officers want this lawsuit dismissed. In new filings, the defendants deny most claims in the complaint, including allegations that an officer initiated a high-speed chase. Instead, the officer admits that he attempted to initiate a traffic stop, which Taylor continued into Hopewell. Defendants say that the complaint fails to allege facts that support a cause of action for gross negligence, and they add the plaintiff's injuries resulted from the intentional, reckless, and or criminal actions of another person. They're also claiming sovereign immunity. Which says that a police officer or any government employee acting in line of duty, doing what they're supposed to, is immune from liability if something bad happens. Pelfrey says it's a strong protection and historically, court rulings have favored police in similar cases because of it. Now, Bassett's lawyer says she is not surprised to see these filings from the defense, calling them standard boilerplate motions for police. She says they stand ready for oral arguments in July and believe a jury should decide on this case. I did not hear back from the defendant's attorney. In Richmond, I'm Tyler Lane, CBS 6 News.